Hello and welcome back beautiful Aries. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you had a great weekend and I hope you have a great week ahead. Aries, I've turned my comments off due to the scammers that are on the channel. They're out of control and I have found myself spending more time removing people posing as me scammers than I did my own comments so guys they were harassing like all of you viewers you know so I turned the comments off hopefully that will keep them away for a while let's see what the energy is for Aries but guys please continue to like and subscribe to the channel the comments are not staying off forever I just wanted to get rid of the scammers guys so thank you very much, Aries, for your understanding. Joy, enlightenment, hummingbird spirit. Letting go. There's love here. Maybe you've got new love. Or you're uncertain. Maybe you've got a path of two to choose from. It's about truth. I see you happy. I see you enjoying your life. I see you've got enlightenment. And I see that you're letting go. And I think you've got a couple of choices to make here, Aries. Choices in love. Or maybe you're uncertain. Here is the womb here. So something is shifting. Well, well, Aries. There is one loud, strong message I am getting. It's like... Somebody could be expecting a child here. Either that or you're just loving and nurturing of yourself here. Planting new seeds, but I have to say it. Someone is uncertain which way they want to go. I think that someone's making a decision in love because... There's a choice of two, and I see that somebody could be pregnant. And if you don't want to be pregnant, better use precautions. Because I'm seeing that a lot of Aries are making a decision between two lovers. <laughs> Should I stay or should I go, energy? <sighs> the mountain, tough choice. But I think you're making the correct, yeah, so. Mm. Pouring out all your tears here. The sight of owl, so. One of these situations has to end. So it is about weaving what makes you prosperous. What makes not everybody is getting pregnant or making a decision between two loves. But I can see that most of you, what this represents is fertility and growth. But I am distinctly getting the message that somebody's expecting a child and is making a decision between two people. Others of you 
are just weaving your own planting new seeds being very a lot of positive growth and fertility here but whenever I get the fertility card followed by planting seeds someone could actually be expecting a child you are sacred so the seeds that you are planting spirit is saying are very fertile you have a lot of growth ahead of you but definitely for some someone was in their south node and maybe had a choice between two loves but it's looking like there could be indeed a pregnancy here for only some of you you know your own story but for the rest of you it is like you're planting new seeds and the seeds you're planting are coming into fruition new beginnings new opportunities a lot of positive growth this all is going to have a happy ending now maybe there was a time out with somebody and that's the decision to be made but whatever your decision is it's going to have a happy ending you could be getting um synchronicities about a situation like a number of frequencies or sequences or just seeing signs and clues hmm so there's no doubt that somebody's pride is been affected here okay everything in moderation what's going on health yeah healthy 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 rich a lot of rich greens high manifestations period and maybe now you're watching your health loving of self healthy choices healthy decisions a lot of a growth and abundance healthy stuff here is self-discipline here ah see financial discipline self-discipline physical activity manifesting geez guys i can't shake this energy so maybe somebody lacks self-discipline you know what i mean for some of you you have a choice to make between two loves for some of you somebody had to make a choice between two loves this is boss daddy energy going on here someone stable rich business owner ceo what's going on maybe going through a lot of insomnia having sleepless nights or you're busy winning and they may have lost their chance with you someone's creeping on you watching you win they could be have cyber bullied you because you have a lot of fans again what the heck is with aries why do you always have these people creeping on you trying to bully you trying to cyber bully you because you're winning you're idolized loved and respected and you're having a lot of growth that's why empress energy or this fertility card planting new seeds a lot of growth mm. so somebody
Oh, there is child neglect here or some kind of bad parenting involved. Or somebody trying to like turn one parent against the other parent. And they have no damn facts. They just make shit up. This could have, this person is crying over you, or maybe you have cried over this situation. Mmm. Someone trying to force their way, you know, forcing their way, using force to get what they want. Making shit up about you. I don't like it. They're just starting drama and they're wasting their time. You know what I mean? They're just, somebody is trying to block anybody else from coming toward you. They like to start drama. And maybe they're moving. Maybe you're moving. I just know you're busy winning. See? Someone was a player and was confused which way to go. A choice of two loves. Okay. It is definitely a love triangle as much as I hate them. This person is lonely and they're crying about you. The same shit, different day. Maybe you feel like you wasted your time on this person. <sighs> Moving on person could have gave you nightmares you know or maybe now they're going through a nightmare because whatever they got themselves into spirit saying they ain't shit they could be involved with some legal issues courts judges immigration lawyers etc I don't see you faced. And they could have created some fake accounts or something to spy on you. Mm. There could be travel involved. Maybe you're moving. Maybe you are indeed just packing up and moving. Or they did. I don't know. I see you're not faced by it. So there is definitely some kiss and ass going on here. Someone keeps looking you up. Their heads in the clouds is where they are and you're sitting here reflecting on it all. So they were digging up dirt on you. Why? Because maybe they're rejected. And if you're dealing with immigration or something like that, somebody could have got rejected, turned down. You've dusted it all off. They made some kind of dirty offer and now they got love on the brain and they're being haunted by whatever they were doing. Hmm. This is a person who will smile at you in your face and dig up dirt behind your back. Or that's who they were dealing with.
somebody had the no financial discipline, no self-discipline whatsoever. Hmm. Aries. Somebody could just be winning, celebrating a solid foundation or some kind of, yeah, this person wanted to come and go as they pleased. I don't know. I think that this could be to do with long distance or the distant horizon. Somebody could be planning on moving. Celebrating a lot of abundance, a lot of love here. So somebody was feeling lonely. Love and marriage is here, guys. Love and marriage. Hmm. There is some family issues going on here. Why do you guys keep getting this energy? Like, this is part of the read. If I'm sick of reading about it, I'm sure you're sick of hearing about it. I'm sure you're sick of these haters, of these... I don't know if somebody is like... Someone lacks self-discipline. They might be very forceful in their energy. They could even be physical. Used to getting their way. Used to forcing their opinions, ideas, or their will against another person's will. You're too strong, you're too powerful, you're too confident, you're too stable for this crap. And I think that this person is trying to keep anybody else from coming toward you to present you a love offer. That's what I think. They're used to getting their own way. They're used to be controlling. They're used to getting their own way and you're not letting them get their way. And I just see you're trusting your intuition. You could be a spiritual messenger. And it's like... A secret lover or a choice between two lovers. And I think they're heavily burdened with whoever they chose. I don't know. Guys, for some of you, there is like a hidden child or something like that but or children and there's some family issues going on um i see you just applying yourself to your work i see you having a lot of growth and abundance and these people you've got haters man
there's something to do with family um child abandonment or something like that they're dealing with i don't know Somebody could have been sneaking around and somebody could have had a, a whole secret family. For those of you who are been praying for a child, I can see there is a child here. Someone has been praying for a child. They're getting a child. It's a gift. If it's you, Aries, that have been praying to have a child, you may be getting one. <laughs> News of a birth, I'm telling you right now. There is news of a, a birth and someone's like excited about this birth. I don't know. It's that path of two. Which way do I go? Indecision. Who do I choose? The love of my life? I... I don't know if there's a birth here, guys. There is. There is a baby here. Who is a gift? It's a prayer to somebody. Uh, and now for some of you, not all of you, this person could have secretly gone out and had a love child. Oh, man. And that's why this energy might be blocking anybody from coming toward you. There is definitely some kind of making shit up gossip rumors i don't know some is planning spying stalking what the hell is this they're getting some kind of legal issues or something like that i am really getting a headache it's not me either <laughs> Like, that is part of the message. So this person is highly stressed out at this time. Whoever this is, they're going through the most here. There is some kind of legal issues now. <sighs> Something to do with giving, receiving. The truth, the hurt, third-party crap, 
Mm, other options and now being stressed out all up in their head panicking anxiety here this is grief this regret feeling trapped, manipulated, I don't know, holding back or blocking. It's like conflict, jealousy, envy. Maybe they did this to make you jealous or thinking that you were going to be jealous and here you are unfazed. So they might have been doing this deliberately to start some drama. They going for the shock factor here? That's what I'm feeling. Damn. This is financial uh, unbalance, unbalance. It's not stable. Someone isn't stable. It is a karmic energy. They're pissed off at the karmic. They may have trapped him with a child. I think that this person, whoever this is, Oh my God, I hate this energy. I think that this person is angry because you're not phased. I think this person is angry because you're too busy winning. I think that this person did something to make you jealous, go for the shock factor, and now it's all rebound on them. I think they did something to deliberately make you jealous. I think they involved a third party or another lover to deliberately make you jealous. And it is backfiring. They figured that you were going to go running after them and chasing them. Oh my heavens. Yeah. Because they really want to reunite with you. Maybe you're celebrating a new connection. High honor and respect. Someone who respects you and honors you. I think that you've moved on. I don't think this is phasing you. And it could be a long-term connection you're entering in. And this emperor is... Hmm. Hmm. It's about decision making. It's backfiring on them, guys. It's like this person went out. Okay. May have involved this emperor in a third party situation or the emperor was involved in a third party situation and now it's like this person thought that you were going to go get angry go chasing after them 
and they did something involved another lover to deliberately make you jealous figured you were going to get angry and blow your stack and go chasing after them and everything and they're shocked that you're not phased it backfired they may have had a karmic child Empress. Holy crap. So now they may be going to court. They may have applied for some kind of immigration or something like that. Or they did this to like, I don't know, there's some sneaky ass energy here. Whatever they have done, it's like they went to a whole lot of effort, a whole lot of BS to make you jealous. They may have had a karmic child. And now it's like they're paying for this child or something like that, going to court. They were in their ego. This is the court. Now this other person that they're dealing with, Maybe taking them to court, hired a lawyer, a judge, you know, having to go before the authorities. And they're hurt. Their ego has been wounded. Because I think you walked away. They want to be out planting seeds with people. Good. I'll be single. I'll be abundant. I know my worth, my value. This could have been a soul mate who did this to you. You know what I mean? Jesus. Nasty. It's going to be different for every person, but I can see that you're getting a lot of publicity. You're getting a lot of public acclaim. You could be on a platform and getting a lot of, look at this money. With the wheel. Ten of Pentacles, Empress, and the wheel. The star. Soulmate connection. Temperance. High Priestess, Judgment, Ace of Cups, Sun, Star, Six of Wands, Public Acclaim, Being in the Spotlight, Public Spotlight. You have, you're idolized, you have a lot of fans, you have a lot of support around you. People who love you, who respect you, who worship you, basically. Or you're getting a lot of respect and honor. And I think that you gave this person some food for thought. You may have given this person a piece of your mind. Told them the truth. The absolute truth and walked away and I'm thinking this person they're still spying on you and they're secretly crying over you and they're envious because you're getting all this 
happiness, this public spotlight stuff here. And I think that they did involve a karmic energy and they may have gotten themselves trapped with a child. Legal ramifications, having to hire lawyers and, and it could be someone who, with someone who is trying to immigrate to the country and they may have been turned down for their immigration status. Because it was like an arrangement. It was almost like this person personally sought out to make the other person jealous. Well, I'll show them. You may have given them a piece of your mind and said, stop wasting my time. Stop wasting my energy. You are a waste of my time. So they got huffy and they went out to deliberately make you jealous and envious. And it's looking like for some of you, they had a karmic child. They weren't expecting it. They were just trying to make you jealous and then boom, boom, I'm pregnant. Well, Oops, <laughs> they weren't planning on it. I don't know what this person is trying to do if they're going to court to make some kind of arrangement or plan, but they're financially unstable. They're angry that things blew up in their face. They're angry that the karmic is causing them instability, financial instability. They might have flossed, this karmic might have flossed that they had some money and they don't. They could be broke and now this person is stuck paying everything. Um, they could be a bad parent or this karmic is a bad parent, but this karmic energy had a plan. Mm -hmm. And they were making a bunch of crap up about you. And this person figured, oh, well, you know, I'm going to make, I'm going to make you jealous. I'm going to go to another lover. I'll show you. You'll come chasing me. <laughs> no, you went right in the other direction. And it's like you've got this major glow up going on. And this person is pissed off that their plans have backfired because they were not planning on having any children. And they feel like they were the ones that were manipulated. And they're really all stressed out. This is, this can't be real. This is surreal. Like overthinking, overthinking, overthinking. This person got way more than they bargained for. They figured that they were, maybe they figured, you know, I'll show you, I'll teach you a lesson. Nobody talks to me that way. They're used to getting their own way. They're used to being in control. And you're just like, don't waste my time. Well, they wasted their time. Okay. They were wasting your time and you move forward. You're like, don't waste my time. You're either in it or you're out of it. Okay, you won't decide that I'm deciding for you, period. So they retaliate. They think they're going to make you jealous. They go hook up with some karmic. 
they got more than they bargained for. One way or another, this person is getting rejected. Now, that looks like a passport being denied. I think this person's been turned down, rejected for like travel. Maybe they can't travel at a long distance. Maybe somebody accused them, make false allegations against them about something. Oh, so that they would be rejected. Their passport. Turned down, rejected. Maybe they applied to go live overseas or somewhere. They've been turned down. There's more to it than what's going on. When immigration lawyers are involved, I mean, they get to the nitty gritty, man. The player got played here is what's going on. All this crap, all this trouble, all this energy going in to making you jealous. I don't know what they accomplished. It all blew up in their face. That's why they're sad. That's why they're hurt. That's why they're crying. You know, I don't know, guys. I guess I'm just old school. I'm not up with all this stuff that people do or whatever. I'm just not up with it. Like, you know, what just ever happened to people just being honest? I guess it's a pipe dream. I don't know. I know a lot of you collectives are straight up honest. I know you have a lot of integrity. But why is it that this always gets me? So you've got somebody who's honest and genuine. And then you go out playing games and, and playing little mind games because you're used to getting your way. It's like, what the hell? I think this person is packing up and I think they're they're moving. They're trying to get away from the karmic energy is what they're trying to do. Self-discipline. Better love yourself enough. So there was some physical crap going on here. And their pride got in the way, and I'm telling you that this person, yikes, man. There's some kind of travel, long distance travel involved here. They might have hooked up with somebody from a foreign country or something like that. I don't know. It's like a scam. It's a scam is what it is. This person is fuming mad. They're angry that they were played. They were a player, but now they're angry that they got played. And it's backfiring on them. So their little control games, mind games that they were doing, it's all backfiring on them. So you're sitting over here, their plan didn't work. It's not bothering you, you're unbothered. 
You're too busy winning to care what they're doing. And it blew up in their face. It did. They're like mad because this, whoever this karmic is, just was making up shit. So this karmic made this shit up to block you from your person. They go to this person. The karmic has it all planned. It's a, like planned. I'm going to get pregnant. I am going to get my immigration status or my status somehow here. It's like, I don't know if there was a green card involved or something like that. This person's been rejected or the karmic's been rejected. And now they've got this karmic child who they got to pay child support for and can't even see. I don't know what's going on. I'm just saying it's nasty, it's ugly, but they did it to play a mind game on you. So the mind gamer got themselves into a heap of trouble and it all exploded in their face. They were not expecting what they got. They weren't expecting any of this. They got themselves into a disaster. And that's why they're spying on you because they're seeing you win. And they're like now crying over the fact that they blew their chance with you. <sighs> Regret in their choice. They are sad. They are crying. Their whole life just blew up. By what? Playing a mind game? Hmm. You're sitting over here winning. They're over here crying. They thought that they were going to make you cry, but they're the ones who were really crying. Got a bunch of financial problems going on, I'm saying. This karma gave them an awful lot to think about. Karmic is after money, you know. Maybe this person had a lot of money. Maybe this person owned their own business. I think that they were placated. I really do. I think the player got played. I really honestly do. Karma kids or child. I don't know. Planting seeds, you already put your soul. Yeah. Love bombing. <laughs> you know what I mean? The player is getting played. It's a dirty offer. Their option, it's blown up on them. <laughs> They betrayed him. It was an illusion. The fantasy has come to an end. Reality is setting in. Hmm. Mm. This person had some wealth. They did. And this person was a hard worker. This person worked hard for what they had. Mm. 
It's long distance here of some type. Comes around, goes around, but this is something to do with the globe here. This is something to do with long distance, far away. It's all blown up in their face. They are getting their karma. They're trying to avoid a tower, but they can't. It's karma. You can't stop. They're trying to stop the wheel. They're trying to stop getting this karma. They can't stop it. The wheel's in motion. And the only one who can control that karma is the universe. They try to avoid a disaster, but they can't. They simply cannot. They cannot stop it. They tried to avoid a, a disaster, but it was karma. Been rejected. They were sneaky. Well, what's going on? Manipulation, man. Pulling the wool over their eyes. If this person could turn back time, they definitely would have avoided this tower. Can't turn back time. They tried to avoid a disaster, but they cannot avoid the disaster. For what? An F, buddy? Whole heap of trouble here. Big trouble. So, you're like unfazed. You're, I'm living my life, I'm winning. You got yourself in that mess. I'm not doing nothing to help you. I'll send you my prayers. I'll do whatever you feel like doing but you're too busy winning they did what they did to make you jealous figuring that you were going to go running and chasing after them and you didn't it backfired and now they're stuck with what they did take care everyone good luck <laughs>